like, comment, share, subscribe. Get it together with Nadja. Hello, my go-getters. How are we doing today? Um, I just came on here to see how y'all doing. Um, yes, you know how everything's going. I haven't been on here for a minute. Yes, that is true. But um, I just came to see how y'all doing and everything else. Um, I'm not eating anything. I'm just coming on here um, to give my opinion of a movie. Um, I'm saying um a lot. That's not the point. The point is I'm coming on here just to um, let y'all know about a movie that I came across. It's all over TikTok because I'm on TikTok. Um, the movie is The Deliverance, um, produced and directed by Lee Daniels. I have a lot about um, signature actresses and actors that's in there. <clears throat> My favorite is Monique. She's in there. Glenn Close is in there. I don't know the the other characters, but this is another black girl, and um, she played in um, Underground Negroes, and she was also in what was that popular one, The Help. Um, she was the actress that um, went to jail because she stole the diamond ring from the white lady or whatever. But her, and she was in a um, a plethora of movies. So, anywho, my sister told me about the movies, the movie, and so I watched the trailer on TikTok. I watch it on YouTube, and uh, then I went back to TikTok because I watch TikTok a lot. And people are—they are on it. They are telling people, "You got the ones that want you to watch it, and you got the ones that saying don't watch it." It's this, is that, it's all this, and it's that the next thing. But what I know from it is that they didn't, they knew God, but they wasn't Christians, they wasn't a believer of God, they, they didn't worship, prayed, and all the other stuff. And so that's, the spirit was there in that house in Indiana. It's a true story. The Deliverance is on um, Netflix. And so I was wanting to watch it, but then I thought about it. I don't want to watch it. And I've seen other people on different platforms saying that, oh, it opens up portals for them to come into your house and this, that, the next thing, come into your world, this, that, the next thing. Understand that. Um, we're living with people that's allowing the portals to come into their house and live with them. We go to work with them. They're fine with that. Those are the people that can probably watch it. Then there's some people that can watch it and they're prayed up, stayed up for the blessings of God. And in the movie, my sister was telling me because I didn't watch the movie. And she said, oh, well, you really need to watch it because it is really mind blowing, and it's it's you know if you pray it up and everything, it's nothing going to get you scared or nothing like that. And I understand that, but the thing about it is that I don't want to allow that in my in my um, atmosphere, in my company, in my home. I don't want to. That's on me. I'm not saying don't watch it because I'm very very curious to watch it. Um, you just have to be prayed up. And you probably can handle it. If you stay if you stay prayed up and know the word and have a relationship with God, you can fight anything that is coming at you. This is this is no battle that you can't lose. Only if you're not prayed up and don't know the word of God and don't have a relationship with him, then this may consume you if that is the point. My point is, I'm prayed up and stayed up with God. 
I have a relationship with my Lord and my Savior. So the thing is, <clears throat> am I going to get anything out of it by watching it? Um, I just wanted a good movie to watch, something that's good to watch. And I like the actors, and I love Monique acting. I'm so glad she's back. I'm so glad her truth has been told, and it happened to somebody else. So her truth has been heard and talked and told. Okay. But I, I, I don't want to watch it because the thing about it is that I've seen it before. Hold on. What is that? Just fell and hurt myself. Okay. A scam. Them spam things that come on your phone. Anywho, I've seen it. I've watched it. And I've seen one of the greatest movies of all time. And the backstory of that, how it affected people. Know how it affected the actors that did the movie. It's not something that is a go to or run to. I was only going to go to it and run to because of the actors that I like that's playing in there. But <clears throat> if you've seen Exorcist, the original with Linda Blair, that was enough for me. I don't need to see no more. Back in the days, they had the, the uh, exorcist, they had the omen, the final conflict, um, those movies from back then. That it was true stories really happened. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not allowing that, that energy. I'm not even going to give you that energy to have and bring home with me. I'm not going to sit in my home and watch it because I, I just don't think it's, for me, it's not acceptable. But if you want to watch it, that's that's what, that's what you want to do. You better be prayed up and stayed up because this is not no joke. You have to have all the whole armor of God to protect you. Because if you think about it in the 91st Psalm, it's, it reads, but you have to know your word. You got to know your God. You got to have a relationship with him. But if you're not prayed up and stayed up, it's just out there to catch souls that is not right. And if you don't watch it, um, you battle in this, not on that level, in your home. With your family disconnection, underlying things, is still there. But if you want to watch it, that's fine. But for me, no. Because after I watched The Exorcist, that was it. And when I watched The Exorcist, I didn't have a a true relationship with God because I was a young I was young. I was a young girl. I don't even know. I was ooh, 11 or 12. And you know at those times you just go to church. Your mama, you've been going to church since you was five. Or earlier than that. You just go into church. But once you get a little older and you start re having a relationship with God and knowing God and having and figuring out things in your life and really getting into your Bible, into your study, into your word, into your text, then you build something. If you are not spiritual, ready, you don't need to watch it. Because you have to know, like my sister told me about the, my older sister, she told me about the movie. And she said it was a part in the movie where that mother could have saved them from further damage. But she had no relationship with God. And God still loved her. He just wanted her to call his name. And she couldn't even say that. And then she got saved. And then she was able to call his name. And then she started speaking in tongues. And saved that family. It's, it's good that you, you can watch the movie. I'm not saying don't. I'm just saying for me. My opinion. So I don't like when people get on the internet and... Oh... Uh, 
trash people that don't want to see the movie, okay? We don't know what kind of uh, spiritual realm they're in. We don't know what, what they're going through. You have to talk from your personal views. For me, I don't need it. I don't need that in my life right now. Because we wrestle not against, we wrestle against principalities, wickedness in high places. And if you don't know how to dissect that and pray yourself out of that and get above and reach God and Jesus who died for our sins, you're not ready. You need to be ready if you're going to watch this film. That's all I'm saying. And people that are ready, more power to you. I commend you. I applaud you. I'm just saying in my opinion, if people is not ready for that, it's all right. We cannot judge them for not wanting to watch it. Because God don't judge. We're not supposed to. I think that's what it, 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 it says. We're not supposed to judge. We are allowed to have discernment where we decide if we want to do that, if we want to see that, if we want to do that, if we want to allow this, if we want to allow that. Because once that rim, that spiritual rim is open, things can come in. If you don't know how to battle them or shut them down, take them out, call on the Lord, call on some scriptures, read some scriptures, have a little holy water, holy oil, which I do, that was prayed over from my pastor at my church. You not ready because if if you want to deal with that, I don't. I've done it before. I have family members that went through that, and I've seen that along with family members. I know how that is. I ha I'm not uh, because I know mm -mm, if you a spiritual person, spirits will visit you. Good ones, bad ones, and uneven ones. The uneven ones is the ones that is trying to act like they good, but they not. Oh, you can do it, girl. It's all right. No, but if you ain't got, if you are, you don't know how your, you got to know your spiritual realm, girl. You got to love the Lord and his son. You got to love the disciples. You got to know your Bible. You have to read it. Why is it? ADT. Somebody must have went by and blow the wind. Anywho, it's not no um, downplay on the movie. We're not doing that. Because there's some good actors in there. And the message has to be out there. Because there's messages out there. And it's a true story. And it has to be told. But if some Christians that don't want to see, okay, fine. But don't, don't, don't judge them and say, oh, you're not a Christian because you don't want... People, some people just don't want that in them atmosphere. And the thing about that is that we don't really know. They already, they probably seen that experience that went through it. They don't want to see that again. So it's not no judgment call that we should have. I don't. If you've seen it, you told me about it. And what you told me, that was enough for me. i seen a couple of clips. I don't need to see the whole thing. I'm good. I like my favorite actress in there, Monique. I just wait till she do another movie that's different from this. But other than that, I'm good. I watched the um the reading that Monique was in. I love the movie, but that movie they had some stuff up in there. I had to pray. I had to pray. I had to pray it out. I was like, Lord Jesus, got the 91st Psalm open my door. Got the 91st Psalm over the back and front door. I'm covered. But the thing about it is, you have to know when that fear sets in. And it hits you quick. And when it hits you, you better start praying. You better start worshiping. You better open your mouth. Anything that you remember in the Bible, that you should remember in the Bible, you need to say it. You need to continue to do it. You do your, you have to 
convict that spirit, send it back to the hell, the pits of hell. You have to do that. If you're not ready to go in battle, you need to not do it. I'm going to tell a quick story, and then I'm going to be out of here. Okay. So, people talking about, oh, don't seek deliverance, and then some see, you need to see, because you need to be prayed up. If you're not a real Christian, you shouldn't watch it. This, that, the next thing. That's all bull. I'm a real Christian. I believe in God, and I'm human. And it had to be a decade ago when I went to see the first paranormal activities. Me and my daughter... Me and my two daughters, we even dressed up and everything. It was a big thing back then. And we was just watching, back then we was watching them scary movies that they scare you and then you're fine. Like Jason, this, that, and that, whatever. And then we just stopped doing it. And then they came out with some new one, Paranormal Activity, the, the very first one. And we watched that. And then the, it, and as we sit there, we says, oh, this movie's so boring, ain't nothing happening, just with this camera and this. And then stuff started happening, and then stuff started, and it got a little bit deep. And then it just got to the point where I'm in the theater, jump up out my seat. My daughters, they in tears. They was young. I don't know how old it was. I don't know, 13, 14, 14, 12, 13, something like that. Anywho, they jump up, and they on my heels. I had one over here and one over there. And I just started saying, the blood of Jesus, Satan, you're a liar. I you back into the pits of hell. I'm leaving. I can't stay here. I started saying the 91st Psalm, the 35th Psalm, the 23rd Psalm, the 37th Psalm. And I'm telling you, I prayed while I was standing there. And it was these kids behind me. They were 16. It was different nationalities or whatever. And they jumped up. It had to be like eight of them. Man, we need to come with you. We leaving too. I'm like, well, you can't because I'm going to cover you. I'm going to pray for you once we get out this theater. And don't allow this in your room if you're not set up. I was set up. I made it happen, Captain. Oh, we not doing that. Oh, no. It was, it was, it, I, it, it, the fear hit me. And I got fearful. But I wasn't at home. I was in the movie theater. And the first thing that came to my mind, jump up and start praying and pray without ceasing. And that's what I did. When I got home, we prayed the house out. That's why it's it's on if that's what you want to do. If you want to watch that, it's okay. For me, I'm, I, I, I've seen it. I'm not allowing it. I'm trying to continue to, to build my relationship and restore my relationship with God and continue to thank him and praise him, happy, sad, good, glad. That's what I'm all about. But if you want to watch it, that's fine. Just uh, my advice is be prayed up. Because if you call yourself a Christian, they come to the, they attack the Christians first. They come to the Christians. You know God, let me see if he's going to save you. We, you watching me? Okay, let me see if I can entertain you and see if he's going to save you. Oh, no, I'm not testing you. I've done that, been that. Not again. Because I fight y'all. I pray against y'all. I'm not going to get involved. No, mm -mm, I'm not doing that no more. And who that was my... Was that a review? That's my review on The Deliverance. Directed and produced by Lee Daniels. He got a plethora of stars in there. My favorite is Monique. So, with that being said, my go getters, go get it, go get it, go get it, go what? Won't he do it? Yes, he will. Love you. Peace. Hey, Naja, Naja. 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 Hey, Naja, Naja.